principles that we know to be true, we should be taking these into account in portfolio allocation. You don't know when the storm's going to come and the flood's going to come and the house built on sand is going to wash away. All you know is that the house built on sand is a worse investment than the house built on stone. As for timing, you know, that's God knows that. We don't know that. So principled reasoning is about the simple process of allocating capital in terms of an investment decision making matrix is the simple process of allocating capital away from higher risk situations to lower risk situations. When it comes to figuring out where to invest, what we really have to do is try and figure out what exposures are we looking for? What is it that we really feel like the portfolio needs in terms of particular places in the market, particular cycles that we're in, and how we can advantage the portfolio by putting those factors in place in the portfolio. Once you sort of have this list of a range of returns that you could have in different asset classes, say stocks, bonds, commodities, from there you can start to assemble your portfolio. And you assemble your portfolio based on the needs of the client, whether they're short-term needs, intermediate-term needs, or long-term needs. When you think about implementing these principles, you want to be able to actually have your actions really be closely tied to your beliefs. One of the challenges that we had was finding solutions that matched up with these principles. And rather than us being settled for what was out there, we decided to go ahead and invest and create a company that was designed around building solutions based on these principles. And when you have a company that spends all of their time in the laboratory and actually producing solutions that reflect these principles, it makes it a lot easier for us to have confidence that the principles are embedded into the portfolio. Principles by themselves don't have any meaning unless they're applied. So to me, the beauty of what has happened is the rise of Vidant as an implementer of the principles. The logical question after you have principled reasoning and really a new understanding of those principles related to investment decision making is, how do I apply it? And so Vidant brings really a thoughtful understanding of what is the product, the investment solution look like that's based on these principles and bringing that to market in an exciting product that really is geared in a, for advisors in a way that they can take in and implement it immediately into their client portfolios. You won't see anything from Vidant that doesn't include a discussion around human productivity, a discussion around the leadership and governance, helping people cope with uncertainty and instability in the way that investments are constructed and discussed.